students, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to do for scenario outline. Okay. And scenario outline and parameterization, we can able to call it. Okay. What is scenario outline and what is a parameterization? See, in the, my last video session, when you are seeing this is like hard coding, right? When you go for that particular location, see, they automatically show it. And we passed it some hard coded values. Okay. This is not the recommendation. And uh, even you can uh, go to that particular location. See, this is a hard code. Uh, most of the time, we uh, it is not recommended section, right? Then how we can able to do for this particular one? Okay. To achieving that, we have there are two options. One is by writing for the same step, same step. Uh, step one is like a uh, like we can create the same step with the passing passing values in a step okay and step 2 is like a using scenario outline okay passing the same step means you can pass for single if you want for single user to log in into that particular application or to verify some message in the same place then we can able to use the same step location. And scenario outline is basically to running for multiple user, multiple cases. Like you can say, right, uh, login into the application with the valid and invalid cases. In this case, we need to create for one positive 10 different negative cases. In this moment, we need to pass in a same step with the uh, different different negative cases that what will happen 10 different test scenarios we can we need to create to reducing that we can create for one single outline okay this way it will reduce for that particular case okay how we can able to achieve this one we can see in this particular session and doing that and the first case i'm going to implement this one here scenario location okay second scenario okay and uh, here I can change that uh, valid with the username and password. Uh, so pass values in step. Okay, this is my scenario, and I'm going to providing here a uh, provide a valid user name as and double quotation. I'll pass it one and password as. I'm going to pass like this, okay? And I'll bring in this particular step value. This is my Mercury one. And I'll take it here. I'll keep it from here, passing, and here, passing, okay? We are not developed, that's why it is showing a failure, okay? We can implement that in a moment, okay? Now I'm going to create info my new step, okay? This is my new step, okay? And here I'm going to take, this is my value, okay? Now I'm going to take this one and here I'm going to pass it here. Okay. And here I'm going to do one thing, removing this and two curly braces. Inside the curly brace, I'm going to use first string. Okay. Similar format I'm going to do for same for password as well. Okay. Okay. And here in the function, I'll pass it for name and password. Two things okay now if you come back here and see that see after we can click we can navigate into in this location now in this location i'll change for name and here is password okay two things completed now without any issue we are modified it right now you can see in this particular Test case if you run automatically to take in the same step location. Okay. Now I'm going to run this one play red test. Change it one thing here. Login by the login. NPM test, I'll run. Two scenarios need to hit. One, it will take as a uh, hard-coded values, and second one, it will take as a uh, 
parameterization type of value. Like uh, it will take it from the same uh, scenario location. Two scenario got one scenario will fail. Something was a issue. One minute. Now one got failed and one got passed it. Okay. Oh, sorry. This overlapping immediately, so this will okay. It is running parallelly first. Using that much of them, we we'll use for thousand. Again, it is failed. That's why I'm going to run one more time. Okay. Not taking too much of time this time. For loading only it is taking it. Oh, yeah, again. Something happened again. Yes. Now two test cases got passed, okay? Now we are able to do it for two test cases, okay? And now I'm going to do for one more thing that is scenario out there. We are going to create for scenario out there, okay? For this, I'm going to create for a different future with the name it as a scenario outline dot of future, okay? Now I'm going to copy these particular steps. I'll remove this. Okay. Outline. Okay. Outline will follow with the example. Sorry. Ah. Examples and here I'm going to pass for name. Okay. And another one is pass. Okay. Both the things I'm going to pass. For mine is basically here is the username. Okay. And here I'll pass it and password also. I'll pass it like this. Okay. Now we need to pass this particular username into here. For this, what we can do, right? Double quotation less than and paste it greater than. The similar format we can do for the same for password as well. Okay. We can do less than and greater than inside. 
Okay, now we are able to pass and this particular step what we can do right and for format of the documentation. Now it is a fully formatted. Okay, first step uh, value passing examples. Okay, now I'm going to take this as a copy. Okay, and in the cucumber, I'll go and I'll pass it here. Okay, then again, I'll come back. And okay, now you can see the value it will pick from here. It will pick from here. Now again, I'm running for this because in the cucumber place, I mentioned for scenario open. That's why it will pick for mine. Okay. See, you can see one test case and another one. Okay. I want to do for same thing into another one. Okay. So I'm copying two times it will log in. Okay. Two times it will open the browser and two times it will pass. See, two scenarios, two times. But only one scenario we have, but still it is executed for two. Okay, six steps because we are run for twice. This is like a multiple timing we are going to run our test case. This is like a parameterization and we can able to say data driven framework also we can able to call it. Okay, I hope it this information for you. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.